everything in Hypixel Skyblock gives Skyblock XP. From farming, to mining, to dungeons, to getting people's numbers inside of a cube, to eating chili peppers, even to the dreaded foraging. The one issue, Skyblock levels are useless. They give you some minor health rewards, but other than that, they are simply a way of displaying your progression and, you know, flexing on people who are lower level than you. And since I need my profile to look amazingly good on paper, I'll be spending over 2.5 billion coins on Skyblock levels. It's time to spend some money on Skyblock levels. I have a rather large purse of 2.2 billion coins to spend, and yeah, it's it's all going into Skyblock levels. I really want level 360 so very badly. And you know, while I could just be a normal person and type slash level into the Sky Helper bot on Discord, and then just go to cheapest Skyblock experience, and you know, do this all efficient and whatnot, I've got a video to make, and I want to make it entertaining. So we're going to start with the museum, one of the most expensive areas in the game, sucking billions of coins out of players' reaches by soul-binding items left and right, and I'm going to spend a bunch of money on it. It sounds fun, doesn't it? So I've got a fancy little mod here, uh, which I believe is an NEU for anyone wondering, and it just shows me what the cheapest item to donate is, so first of all, we're just going to go scroll through absolutely everything just to make sure it has everything in there, and there we go. It's now all updated, and we can just kind of go to the AH and just buy everything that we need. So I guess starting with the cheap stuff, We'll be getting a Balloon Snake, Sword of Bad Health, moving up just a little bit in price, Spirit Sword for 3.2 mil, some Spirit Boots, and then since it's wanting me to buy the unupgraded version of these, we're gonna go ahead and get a Kindle Bane Dagger, this one has one for all on it for whatever reason, and his twin, the Mod Red Dagger, a Death Bow, a little bit of a Flame and Fist, Skullville Belt, and a Spirit Short Bow. That is everything for the first page, so I mean, uh, I guess we get this all donated. And with all those donated, I have 11 unclaimed rewards. So claim all, and what did I get from that? 96 Skyblock XP. And that was just from one page. And everything is like really cheap. Like everything is like sub 5 mil right now. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna get a couple levels. And now we have 11 more pages to go. It's a little early in the video, but I think it's time for a buying things and donating things montage. Yeah, editing me, have fun with this. No, you don't even get to finish your sentence. And with that last purchase, I have filled my entire inventory, and that is two pages. So let me get this all donated. But before that, I am getting extremely close to 26,000 subscribers. So if we can hit that, as well as 2,000 likes on this video within three days of it being up, I'm going to be giving away... Siri, give me a number between 100 and 200. It's 169. Nice. 169 million coins. So make sure to join my Discord server and comment your IGN, since I'll be giving away half of it in each of those areas. Anyway, time to stop eating up your time and let me eat up some more of your time. Yeah, that makes sense. And with all that done, we got a whole bunch of museum rewards to claim. 18 in total, so let's see here. And that'll give us 160 Skyblock XP, and get us all the way to level 338. Uh, now at this point, I'm gonna stop doing the museum, because I spent nearly 100 mil on just two pages, and I may come back to it later, but for now, I've got some other ideas. Yeah, so next, we're gonna be doing minions. A lot of them. Starting with this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, give me a second. And tier 5 is going to be where we're stopping on the Tarantula minion, because, uh, well, this minion's really expensive to get to T12, so I'm just not going to do that. It's not worth it. There's much more worth it minions, uh, but I figured I'd get this one out of the way. Next, I suppose we'll do all of those various farming minions that need pelts to upgrade. Uh, hopefully I don't run out. Or, well, actually, before that, I found this minion right here, and uh, apparently there's a T12 of it. And, yeah, for, what is that, 32 enchanted red sand cubes? Okay. So that's going to be 22 mil, and in addition, on 2 mil charge, and we get the T12. Uh, but I mean, pretty worth it for 24 Skyblock XP. And this should hopefully be all the farming-related ones. I went through and checked, and if I missed any, well, then I guess I'm just stupid. So we hit a little warp trapper and talk to, I think it's Tammy? No, no, it's gonna be Tony. And here we should be able to upgrade all of these. So I did a little pelt grinding earlier, and I have 462 pelts. I have no idea if that's gonna be enough, though. So the carrot minion is gonna need 32 enchanted golden carrots. My goodness. 
and that that's actually only 2.4 mil. I'm uh, overreacting a, a little bit. I anyway, uh, carrot minion and potato minion is going to need 32 enchanted potatoes and 2.6 mil and uh, potato minion and a level up. Now we need 16 grilled pork. Um, I'm assuming that's not going to be cheap. Uh, nope, 2.3 mil. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just all over the place today, I guess. And sugarcane, we just need 32 enchanted sugarcane and 3.4 mil. And we get a sugarcane minion. Cactus minion, 32 enchanted cactus. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, these are not exactly cheap. Uh, I don't know. It might be like 4 mil. Yep, 4.6 mil. I don't know. Still good deal for, you know, 24 Skyblack like XP. Now, 1,024 enchanted raw chicken. Uh, I might need to clear out my inventory a little bit. Did all these get cheaper or something? I could have sworn these were more expensive. I don't know. It's like 700k coins. And level 340. We are now only 20 levels off of 360. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. Skyblock levels are really easy to get. Although I have actually just run out of pelts, and I have two more minions to do. And each of them requires 75 pelts each. So do I hear a montage? <laughs> And this pig right here should hopefully be the last one we need. Eight pelts slash warp trapper. And I'm a little bit nauseous, but yeah, there we go. 151 pelts. And now we need 1,024 enchanted pumpkins. We have 1.7 mil, like no coins at all. And T11 pumpkin. And 1,024 enchanted rabbit hides, which actually the most expensive one. 12 million coins. And there we go. That is uh, finally all of the farming ones done. I no longer have a use for pelts. This is so nice. While I was checking what minions I needed to craft, I actually noticed that I don't have a T11 vamp minion. And, uh, well, as you can see behind me, I have some vamp minions down. And one of them, right below me, it's T10. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So I've actually been prepping for a T12 for quite a while, so I just have a bunch of glass in here. So, yeah, how much more do I need? Okay, so eight stacks in total, meaning we are gonna need one, two, three three and an additional 59 and there we go and that should be all eight stacks click here and minion okay and now all the binding related ones also i don't have this hardstone minion leveled up and uh, we're just gonna need some concentrated stone eight of these bad boys and wow that's expensive okay i can kind of see why i didn't have this leveled up 16 more okay well it's gonna be gonna be putting 45 mil into this one minion but i mean i don't know i just want to get the minions maxed out at 16 31 one mil. Wow, okay. Well, it's T11 now. And warp mines. So iron minion, we're gonna need 16 enchanted iron blocks. That's gonna be 3.4 mil. Nothing at all. There we go. And level 341. And the hardstone T12 is 32 concentrated stone. This minion is 107 million raw craft. Yeah, no, we're, we're skipping that one. That one is not happening. I'm sorry. I have a lot of money, but that's just not worth it. And you may have noticed I actually grabbed a gas minion and a quartz minion, which I believe both both of these need to be leveled up over in the Crimson Isle. And the gas minion, we need to go ahead and get to T11. And here we go, gas minion T11. And yeah, it appears I was right. Uh, now, I believe all four of these minions I do already have maxed out. I will do have to double check. Uh, but yeah, quartz minion, gas minion. And so quartz minion, starting out first, we need 16 enchanted quartz blocks. A little bit expensive, but it's all right. And we have it now. And it looks like I need to craft a bunch more silver things. All right, crafted a bunch more of these. And Ghast Minion T12. And now, something that has been needing to have happened for a while now. I need to swap factions. The longest time, I've been a Burz. Actually, ever since the Crimson Isle came out, which is like over a year ago at this point, which is crazy. There's a ton of XP that's locked behind the Mage faction, and I've already gotten all the XP I can out of the Barbarian faction. So, it's time to ruin my rep and lock myself out of T5 Kudra for a while. We're gonna swap to the mage faction. So I believe if we talk with L right here. Yep. Hey, how do you like your faction? If you want to swap factions, let me know. It really isn't that hard. Oh, really, L? You're gonna reset all my rep. All you have to do is lose all your reputation points. We call that becoming neutral. Do I want to change my faction? Yes. So I want to join the mage faction. Yeah, L. Yeah, I do. You have an idea how I could do it? It's basically bribery. It, it just hurts so much. I have 14,000 rep and it's gonna reset me back down to like two-ish thousand. Anyway, just give me a second while all this lore plays out. Anyway, we're getting a bat phone or whatever it is. And now we need to bring that to the Dean. Now, what is great about going back and doing quests and whatnot is that I actually already know all the locations and whatnot, and I am horrendously lost as I'm talking. But I already know all the locations of pretty much everything, so it's gonna be a lot easier to go and do than, you know, it would have been starting out. And I I feel like I should just eat my words. I am terribly lost. Never mind, I'm no longer lost. Anyway, I need to present the mac uh, the, the the bat phone to the dude guy, and yeah, there we go. Now talk 
to the Dean again, and I guess click yes. I don't know, give me a second to go through this dialogue. Ooh, we get a letter of recommendation. Okay, anyway, now we just need to bring the letter of recommendation to the Queen. She should be somewhere over here, somewhere-ish, I think. All right, and we're here, and we got a, you know, letter of recommendation, and now we talk to the Queen, and we click to show it, and I have officially joined the Mage Faction. Current reputation, zero. I have to grind all the way back up to 12,000 in order to do Kudra again. I might have just shot myself in the foot. Actually, never mind. I don't even have zero. I have negative 3,000. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Anyway, just out of curiosity, slash warp Kudra, can I even go into a T1? Um, actually, it looks like I might be able to go into a T5? What? Did they remove? Huh? It's not telling me any kind of- Oh! Oh, they changed it. It's 12,000 reputation in any faction. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I need a rep grind. I- Oh, okay. I guess swapping factions doesn't shoot me in the foot anymore. Yippee! Uh, anyway, now that I'm a mage, I guess I can go ahead and craft a mycelium minion. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay, yeah, nothing too complicated. Oh, that's interesting. You do not have the requirement to use this item. You need 500 mage reputation to use it. Uh, well, I, I guess I do have to rep grind a little bit. Oh, well. Anyways, I guess we should just go ahead and, you know, finish all the mage faction stuff so I can get, like, five or something nappy phone contacts. I, I don't know. It's something kind of stupid, and they're all free. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me remember how to do this real fast. All right, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't I think I actually need to do the quest again. Why is this mage guard aggroed on me? I am a friend to you. Are you going to kill me? He killed me. That's rude. Back to what I was saying. Now that I think about it, I don't think I actually need to do the mage faction quest because I already did the barb faction quest. I think I just need to literally take my abby phone and go click on some NPCs. So yeah, let's see what ones I don't have added. So I don't have Captain Ahone. I don't have the Dean. I don't have the Queen. And I don't have this guy, whatever his name is. I suppose to prove my theory, uh, let's go see the Queen. Hello, Queen. Your contact? Y yeah, g give it to me. I want your phone number. I reach enough reputation. Is this really reputation locked? Me and my negative reputation are having a bad time over here. Actually, yeah, now that I remember it, I think the Queen needs 12,000 mage rep repetition. I'm having a bad day. Yeah, there it is. Requirements, 12,000 mage reputation. Uh, so, yeah, that one's gonna take a while. Although, I think we can probably get the Dean. Probably, right? Doesn't want me to click on him. Unless I already have the Dean. So, part of the mage faction quest. Okay, so this is the Dean, and you know what? I'm gonna do a little research. Okay, so from what I understand, I think I need to go in here and buy another Abbey phone. There's a mage guard chasing me. Hello, can I lure you out here? I kind of want to go buy an Abbey phone. Oh, okay. Um, we're just gonna lead you out here. New objective: buy an Abbey phone. Can you leave? Okay, can I just quickly? There we go. Okay, so I got an Abbey phone. We're just gonna go stand on the roof. Okay, and there we go. After a lot of dialogue, she added the Dean to my contacts list. Okay, now we contact the Dean with my Abbey phone. Where is he at? Oh, there we go. Dean. And I guess uh, that we can just chuck out now. Anyway, now we can do the mage faction quest line and get all the stuff and things and yeah. Oh, and then we also get Elle's contact, uh, which apparently I didn't have. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, well, another free 10 Skyblock XP. Also, quests like this should be illegal. She walks slightly faster than me crouching, but I walk way faster than her running. This this should not be allowed. So after a bit more questing, I now need to find his apprentice, which should lead us to hopefully two more contacts. And then after that, there's another one I can get, and then I believe that's all the ones I can get for the time being from the Crimson Isle, which I mean, still, it's like free 50 Skyblock XP. Okay, I think we just follow this trail of blood over here. It, uh, leads us over here, which he's not there, which he's supposed to be. Uh, nope, never mind, never mind. We have to talk to Captain Ahone first. And there we go, we get Captain Ahone's phone number, and we level up, actually. Anyway, if we follow this trail of blood now, I think there should be something at the end of it. Uh, yep, here we go, there's a dead guy. And now we just wait for help to arrive. Well, this man's right here, he's just bleeding out. So, yeah, we only need Queen Nyx and uh, Igru and whatever that is. Yeah, I, I don't know owns a chicken coop. We can go do that one. All right, I think it should be this guy right here, which, um, are they part of the mage quest too? Ah, uh, that's dumb. Okay, so now I got the objective of talk to however you pronounce that name. Uh, so yeah, now we just need to, um, kind of, you know, get all his chickens back in the coop. All right, there we go. That was the last chicken, so hopefully we should get the contact. Hopefully, maybe. Oh, okay, there we go. Don't know how to thank me. Get some mage reputation. Come back in a couple days. And now I need to talk to somebody else. Okay, uh, just, just give me your contact. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. That's all I came for. So, with those shenanigans over and done with, there's two contacts that I need to get. One is, uh, Ophelia right here in the dungeon hub, which all we need for that is just a catacombs expert ring, like 30 mil, nothing too much. And right-click her with an appy phone, and there we go. And cool, now we have Ophelia's contact. Uh, now next thing, I could do more, but 
spirit masks have like skyrocketed in price for whatever reason, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, but we can do Duncan, which I didn't even know I didn't have this one. I just need to go into like an F1 and search around for a little bit. Give me a second. Ah, okay, so uh, second run and I found the room. Yeah, just let me take care of this mini boss real fast. Did I already die? I think I one tapped it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, Duncan's right here. So just you know, right click him. There we go. And there we go. 10 Skyblock XP. That was pretty easy. And now a couple kind of random things. So first of all, we need something called Metaphysical Serum, which I believe we can drink three of these total and it just gives us a little bit of Skyblock XP. Four mil. I'll absolutely take that. Yeah, they each just give us five Skyblock XP. And just look at that. The wonderfully complex taste of the Metaphysical Serum has taken over all of your taste buds. The Metaphysical Serum seems to have taken over half of your brain. You should probably stop drinking more. Seriously. The Metaphysical Serum has caused irreversible damage to your whole body, but hey, at least you got some Skyblock XP in return. Anyways, I get an extra two clicks and super pairs now. Yay. And now over at Maxwell, we can, you know, do some Power Stone learning. Now, I believe I have most of these, and I, I don't know, I think we'll just do pretty much all of them that are not, like, 100 million coins. So, I mean, Scorching, how much would that be? So, Scorched Books, uh, they're a little bit expensive. Nine of those will be 24 mil. Sure, I'll take it. I've been meaning to learn this one for a while anyway. And there we go. And yeah, that gives us 20 Skyblock XP. Now we need Strong, which you get from Mandra, which like these are also not incredibly expensive. It's not horrible though. 30 million coins and new power. And now Bazaar is going to cost me like 300 mil. So not going to do that. Bubba Blister, Power Stone. This one should be fairly cheap. Oh yeah, no, this one's insanely cheap. Nine of those, 5 million coins. Ooh. And I think this is a legendary one. So it should give me a lot of Skyblock XP. Yeah, 15. And and level up to 343. So we need Demonic, which that comes from the Horns of Torment, which those are also really inexpensive. Yeah, only 11 mil. We'll just go ahead and do that. And another power. Pleasant from a Precious Pearl. There's a lot of these, which I just have kind of ignored. This is also incredibly inexpensive. Yeah, just gonna go ahead and do that. These give a lot of scout like XP too. My goodness. And Crumbly from the Fantastic Chocolate Chip, which also really inexpensive. Uh, like, why have I ignored these? I, I just don't know why I've ignored these. This it's literally just free Skyblock XP. And then Mythicals from something called an Obsidian Tablet, or yeah, 1.8 mil per. It's just, it's just not expensive. What? And and yeah, another power. And then the rest of these I have learned, meaning I think the only magical power I don't have unlocked right now is actually Bizarre. And yeah, that's 34 million coins per, which is going to run me like 300 million coins per. So so we're, we're not going to do that. So yeah, I'm looking at Skyhelper right now, and it's telling me that basically I should probably go back to the museum and donate some more stuff stuff, as well as work on my pet score. So I think let's do pet score first. I mean, I could possibly get a little bit of magic find out of it. I don't know, let's see what I'm missing. So I have quite a few pets. I mean, two pages nearly entirely filled with legendary pets. I'm also at a pet score of 275. So I mean, what do I need? And yeah, it turns out I'm not missing very many pets at all. Uh, essentially, the only ones I'm missing are a giraffe, monkey, and elephant. Uh, the elephant is currently loaned out to someone, so I don't need to worry about that. So and there's also like Scath and Edrag, but those are really expensive expensive and not going to do that. So giraffe and yeah, 12 million coins. Give me that. And yeah, 22 million coins, like basically nothing. Give me that as well. I'm also apparently missing a turtle, although I'm not sure how expensive these are. Um, hmm, 26 mil. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. All right. And I also went ahead and bought a Phoenix, a drop of the wisp and a blaze for like a total of 20 mil. And we're just going to equip all these for a little bit of scout like XP and level 334. And that has actually increased my pet score to 303. Now, I believe there are a couple of pets I can actually upgrade. So, for instance, like this golem right here. Let me just remove all these and see if I can get upgrades of them. So, yeah, it's these four right here that need upgrades. So, skeleton. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be insanely cheap. Yeah, it's three million coins by that. We also need a dolphin, which I'm genuinely surprised I did not have this. I'm literally fishing 50 and I somehow didn't have a legendary dolphin. And now, flying fish. Yeah, level one is really cheap. I had a level 100, but I sold it, and I don't think I ever rebought a level 1. And now we need a golem, which this golem right here, I actually dropped myself like a really long time ago. And how expensive are golems? Really, really cheap. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get that. And now we can just uh, equip all of these for a little bit of... I'm not even sure if it's Skyblock XP. Yeah, that 
that one gave me scalpel XP, but at the very least, pet score. And now we're off to the museum. Oh, yippee, woo. So I've gone around and gathered some things that aren't really showing up in any you, and we're just gonna donate these real fast. First of all, the Alchemist Staff, I had to pay like 20 mil in gold for that in the Crimson Isle, I don't know, kind of weird, and they also got this, and apparently I didn't have fervor donated either. And museum rewards, yippee. Anyway, now I think we just visit every single page, and yeah, we're just gonna start going down the list, I think. And I'm gonna go by craft price, since I believe I have every single craft in the game unlocked for the most part, and so if it's a little bit cheaper, then I'm just gonna craft it. All right, and I now have an entirely full inventory of stuff that I've bought, so I, I guess let's just get this donated. And let's see here, we are going to be having 14 museum rewards, and uh, yeah, give me that juicy Skyblock XP, thank you very much. And all the way up to level 346. We also ended up becoming affluent in the process, which, uh, yeah, second to palatial. Also, just out of curiosity, how much would a bank upgrade be? Okay, so quite a lot of money, not going to do that. Also, while looking through here, I found something that I can do for pretty cheap actually. I can buy Wither Armor, donate that, and then I can turn it into Gold Ore, turn it into Storm, turn it into Max Ore, and turn it into Necron, and donate all those individually. So I think we're gonna do that. See, I get the boots for 1.5 mil, the helmet for 3.1, the leggings for 5.5, and a little bit of a chest plate for 11 million coins. And this can just go straight into the museum. And now we can just go ahead and take it back out. And yeah, now I believe we will need 40 Jolly Pink Rocks, which, yeah, 100k, that is like nothing, as well as 40 laser eyes? Or, no, I'm doing my math wrong. It's 8 times 4, not 10 times 4. I don't know, we're just gonna go ahead and make this, because I'm horrible at math, and we'll see how much I have left over. So, there we go, we get gold ore, we get, uh, you know, a little bit more gold ore, with, you know, uh, a tad bit more gold ore, and finally, you know, uh, a little bit more gold ore, if I can wrap it around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I totally need 32. And anyway, we can just donate to this now, and you see, it doesn't get rid of the Wither Armor donation. It's just, uh, just kind of a free way to get Skyblock XP. So yeah, no laser eyes. This is going to hurt a little bit. 9 mil. And then we also need 32 of the Bigfoot's lassos, which 300k, that's like basically nothing. And just turn it all in the storm real fast. And donate it again. And turn it all into Maxor and uh, again donate it. And now I'm a little bit torn here. I do have a near full Necron set right here, which is like really, really good, and I doubt I will ever sell it. It's just the only problem is that it seems like kind of a crime to soulbound something this maxed out. So I, I don't know. How much would it be to buy 32 Diamante sandals? It would be 42 mil. So you know what? We're just gonna do the crime thing. We're gonna, we're, yeah, it's just gonna <laughs> Diamante sandals. We're gonna buy eight of these for 10 million coins. And yeah, we're just gonna do the hel helmet so I can donate the entire set. There we go, Necron's helmet. Grab all this out. And now we can donate uh, this set right here. And yeah, that just doesn't feel right, but you know what? It's whatever. This set is soulbound now. I was never gonna sell it, but it's soulbound. And yeah, we get five museum rewards from that, with a total of 53 Skyblock XP. Next up, we need to do 50 Nucleus runs. They are insanely cheap for how much Skyblock XP they give. It's an entire two level just for doing 50, and it cost me, like, what, sub 30 mil or something stupid? But we need to do a little bit of prep first. Ah, cool. I now need to do that 49 more times. Lovely. So I've got all the tools now. The overall cost, about two hours and a fraction of my ever-decreasing sanity. Uh, but I mean, hey, I've got five pages of these toolkits now, and it's very nice and beautiful, and it didn't, you know, take me forever at all. I want to pluck my own eyes out. Anyways, nucleus runs. I need a couple more things. Uh, so first of all, goblin eggs, so that we can, you know, bribe the king or whatever. I don't know which one is the cheapest. It looks 
looks like it is going to be, I guess, the green ones. So we can get 25 of those since we don't actually need them for all 50 nucleus runs. And then we're also going to need some jungle keys. We're just going to do 50 and that's going to be 6 million coins. Okay. And then we also need 50 of every single automaton part. So I believe that is the FTX 3070. So 50 of those. About a mil. Also control switches. Again, about a mil. Synthetic hard switch. These shouldn't be too bad either. Yeah, 1.7 mil. Super light motors, which yeah, just uh, 50 of those. 700k It's like literally nothing. Electron transmitters. Another 50. And 2.4 mil. A little bit more expensive, but still not much. And yeah, here's the expensive one. The Robotron reflectors. This one is going to hurt a little bit. I think it's going to be about 10 mil. Yep, there we go. 10 mil on the dot. Uh, but yeah, now we should have everything we need need in order to do nucleus runs. So yeah, I'm just gonna clear out my hotbar for this. And then honestly, I don't even need my Hyperion. We're just gonna bind everything to this slot that I need. And we're also gonna need some bob bombs to clear our way to structures. So like two, three stacks should be fine. And yeah, all that's left is to set up a lobby. So second try, I actually found a lobby with every single location in it. Uh, so that was kind of lucky. Anyway, I'm gonna start clearing it out. Uh, anyway, the lobby's all set up now. So I guess montage time? Okay, so first Nucleus run, four Skyblock XP, and what are we getting? It looks like, uh, yet yeah, nothing. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone, ice in my veins and a cold flow. And now we are on the very last run, which I figured I'd record the entire thing of, just for the fun of it. Uh, to kind of, you know, show people what a good Nucleus run looks like. And that's time. I think that was around two minutes-ish. I probably should have timed it. I don't know, maybe editing me can time it or whatever. Uh, anyways, just place in all the crystals and what are we getting on this last run here? It looks like absolutely nothing. But if we go into this ender chest right here, you'll see that I actually have a lot of things, including this uh, bow that I dropped. Was not expecting that. Anyway, let's hit this calculate profits button down here and you will see we made 62.8 mil. I, I spent around 25-ish mil on all the stuff to do this, so I actually ended up profiting by nearly double. Now, this definitely isn't like top 10 money-making methods of all time or anything, it's just profit. Anyway, all in all, this took me like two-ish hours and really wasn't all that bad. And at the end of that, we are at level 348 with 72 out of 100 XP. Anyways, next up, we have Fairy Souls. So I was kind of, you know, scrolling through my stuff that I need for Skyblock XP and realized that I'm missing 20 Fairy Souls. I've just been not keeping up with these, so I, I think we should go do those. Well, actually, I'm only missing 12, apparently. I thought it was 20, but yeah, look at that. 230 out of 242. Where am I missing these? So a bunch missing on Miscellaneous. So nine in Dungeons? Four from Fishing, one from Garden, and the Placeable one. Okay. And I'm also missing one in the Dwarven Mines, apparently. Also one in the Deep Caverns, and one in the Hub, and two in the Farming Islands. Okay, these are very miscellaneous and weird, and... Okay, well, I guess we'll start with the Placeable one. So, yeah, if we visit Time Dio, he should have a Placeable Fairy Soul somewhere. I'm not sure where. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's by all the cakes and whatnot. So, yep. And Fairy Soul. Do I need to talk to Tia again? Why? Oh, that's effort. Okay, so it says one next to it, which means I think I have it, and it just gave me the wrong message. I don't know. We'll just hope that's how it works, because, I mean, if, if it isn't, I mean, it's not letting me click it anymore, so... Oh my goodness. Okay, I found the soul that I was missing in the hub. It's literally right here. I had no idea how to get to it. There's just a hole in the wall in the side of this mountain. I've been missing this fairy soul for two years. Uh, if, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I, I literally got sidetracked by two years. A anyway, let's go get more fairy souls. So apparently I was just missing this fairy soul literally at the top of the mountain right here. I, I don't know if that was added recently or not. And then also apparently I'm missing one down here, which like, or I, or I wasn't. Oh, I, I guess I was only missing one in the deep caverns. Oh well. Alright, so the next fairy soul is in the rift, and I believe we need to push one of these fairies off the castle or something. Oh, uh, yep, and, and here it is. Select option, eat fairy. 
and, uh, oh, I get a fairy soul now. Oh, oh my god, she's, she's dead. And I believe this is the missing fairy soul in the Dwarven Mines. Yep, there we go, okay. I cannot believe that I remembered which one I was missing from the two years ago that I went and actually started doing fairy souls. Ah, uh, well, here's one of the ones I was missing on the farming island. How was I missing this? It's so obvious. It's, it's, it's a ladder. I was also missing one just under the shack right here. It's like the most obvious thing ever. It's under a shack. I, I am honestly a little bit mad at myself. Okay, now the only ones I'm missing are five out of the 15 miscellaneous ones. And apparently two of those are from grotto fishing. Yeah, these may take a while. Uh, anyways, we got enough to claim 10 Skyblock XP right there. And now I'm missing three for the next one, which I know two of those are from Grotto Fishing. But then there's another two souls that I'm missing that I just have no idea where they're coming from. So I, I don't know. I guess let's go get this Grotto Fishing out of the way. Also, I should probably quickly, you know, do a little bit of stuff to this Rod of the Sea. I bought one to put it in the museum and I might as well use it. So in chance, we'll just put the basic stuff on there, I guess. And then that's all the enchants. And ultimate enchants, I, yeah, fatal tempo. It's right at the sea, of course. And then I guess recomet, why not? And I think Pitchin is the best reforge for this. I don't know, it's pretty cheap and I don't really care. So this is what we're working with. So a kind fellow has led me to a grotto with some water in it. Anyways, it's fishing time. So I may have, you know, stopped fishing because... I got bored. Anyway, I started streaming, you know, because I have like 1.7 bill to spend and I don't know how to spend it, so I'm gonna have my chat tell me how to spend it. This is gonna be a good idea, trust me. Hello everybody. We're, we're spending 1.7 bill on Skyblock levels today because I was indecisive and I don't know how to spend it. I've already spent like a, a bill, so we're, we're, we're spending more money, but we're doing it on stream because I'm, I'm letting chat control how I spend my money because that definitely isn't a good idea. I, in, anyway, yeah. Hey, it's me, kind of brain dead editing Emther, and because I do not want to go through an additional like two something hours of footage editing down a stream highlight for a video that's already too long. And because I forgot to record like 40 minutes of the stream anyways, I am here to give you the rundown. I started off by donating a bunch of stuff to the museum. I also did minions for a little bit. And then because, you know, had to keep stream entertaining or something, I spent a solid 50 minutes grinding Arachne's keepers to try to get the Arachne set. And yeah, that was pretty much the entire stream. So I'm not sure why I didn't think of this before, but I'm pretty sure there are like a lot of items that I have that I'm realistically never going to sell that I don't have soulbound yet. So I think I'm just going to go through my profile and just grab a bunch of stuff to soulbind. All right, so I just got my elephant back from my co-op and will this give me Skyblock XP? Oh my goodness, it actually did. I, I was missing 18 Skyblock XP from that. Okay. All right, so I've gone through and I believe I found everything. So Spirit Mask, Gyro, Ice Spray, etc. I also went and got a Rampart set. Just went around and killed stuff in the aisle for a while. And also I finally got the last thing I needed for the Arachne set. So yeah, yeah we're just going to donate all this. First of all, starting out with these. And then the Arachne set, that one was painful. And then I believe all of these go in the special area. Not they go in the weapons area. But yeah, Ice Spray, Gyro goes in special. And then Gyro, and then Spirit Mask. And that will be giving us four rewards with a total of 37 Skyblock XP. And now it's time. I have 1.4 bill left in my purse, and I am kind of running out of ways to spend it on levels. Really, the only way left is the museum. So I think I'm just going to break down and spend pretty much this entire 1.4 bill on the museum. Anyway, another montage. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff here, and because I have already spent about 700 mil, I am just going to donate all of this, and I want to see where this gets me. Alright, so that has gotten me 15 museum rewards. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we go ahead and claim all of these, and just, yeah, just, yeah, th th there we go. 174 Skyblock XP. Taking us all the way from level 352 to 354. Uh, yeah, the one issue is, is that the museum is by far not the best way for me to get Skyblock XP right now. In fact, very far from it. It is one of the most expensive ways for me to get it. It's just, there's like nothing else I can spend money on. It's, it's not a good thing, and and I'm still six levels off. So it looks like there's a lot of really free Skyblock XP from like garden stuff. And by that, I mean just getting the upgrades. The one unfortunate thing is that those upgrades cost gold medals. So I'm gonna need to do a little bit of farming. Give me like two days or something. So it is currently two in the morning, well, actually 2.27 and I I'm a bit tired. Anyway, I I've spent like the past couple hours just building farms and getting gold medals in the crops that I have farms for. Uh, anyway, I got like three and we should be able to get another farming level cap. We need 150 Jacob's tickets. And that's just going to be, yeah, 4 million coins. Not bad. And there we go. And 10 Skyblock XP. Uh, you know, only took me considerably more effort than just spending a bunch of money, but it's whatever. So for the past two days, I've been doing a 
little bit of farming. And by doing a little bit of farming, I mean I mostly built farms at an incredibly slow pace, and then got a couple cold battles. Uh, anyway, like, yeah, I built all these farms over here, and I mean, cocoa bean farm, sugarcane farm, all this stuff, just random things, and I have a farm for every crop now. I also went through and I finally got every single unique gold. The only one I was missing was cocoa beans. And then also, I got four gold medals. Uh, six in total, because, you know, last clip and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, now we should be able to go and upgrade this farming level cap another two times. So we're gonna need 200 Jacobs tickets, which, five million coins, not, not too bad, and upgrade that. And the next one will need 250, and 6.7 million coins. Again, still not all that bad. And yeah, now there's only one farming level cap thing left, which I just don't have enough golds for. Uh, but I mean, who knows, maybe in like a couple hours I will have enough golds. So I've run into a little bit of a problem. There just isn't enough things for me to spend money on to get Skyblock levels. At the end of the day, Skyblock levels are meant to be grinded, not, you know, pay to win. This video is about pay to winning them. I'm, I'm running out of money to spend. Anyway, so we all know Reaper Peppers, right? I'm gonna need a couple. There was recently an update which made them significantly more common. So, funny thing, Reaper Peppers are not actually going to be as bad to buy now. So if I just, you know, five of these for, uh, you know, actually th that that might still be uh, pretty, pretty bad. Why are they 72 mil per? They were 60 mil like 20 minutes ago. Okay, so on second thought, uh, those are a little more expensive than I thought they were. Uh, for the memes, we will eat a, a single Reaper Pepper. 67 million coins, and now my mouth is on fire. And it did get us to level 355. You've eaten a Reaper Pepper. It's delicious. I highly doubt that. I'm pretty sure my mouth is burning currently. And herein lies my dilemma. I need another five Skyblock levels, and I don't think 800 mil is actually gonna get me there, because, I mean, there's stuff to spend money on, it's just, it gets incredibly, incredibly expensive, considering the cheapest thing to put in my museum costs 75 million coins. Anyway, there are a couple of things, like, for instance, this Vorpal Katana, I can actually take that out, and we can craft it into whatever the max is, I forgot the name of it, Adam Split Katana, yeah, but for that, we just need, uh, two Null Blades, which are incredibly expensive. In fact, it's only slightly cheaper to craft it, which I find kind of funny, but I mean, I already spent money on this, you know, Vorpal one, I might as well craft it. What is it to craft a null blade? Craft a null blade, it is a, a lot of effort to craft that, and I, I, don't, I don't feel like it. I, we're, we're just gonna buy two null blades. Uh, so yeah, you know, really good use of money, 64 mil and 64 mil. It'd literally be a better use of money for me to eat more Reaper Peppers at this point. I don't know, Adam Split Katana, I have it now, and it's, it's going in the museum. There we go. I also apparently am not donated, like, a really cheap drill. It's, it's 25 mill. What? Did it, did it just not show up on my thing? So Mithril Jill SX whatever that is. Yeah, it's the 326, right? It's 25 million coins. Okay, why is that not in my museum? Like, get in there. And then also the Demon Slayer Gauntlet is really cheap to craft. And I should have the recipe unlocked, because, you know, Blaze Slayer, been doing a lot of that. It's a stack of Enchanted Glowstone, a stack and a half of Molten Powder, and three stacks of Enchanted Rabbit Hides. So, four mil, and we need three stacks of this for 870k per. And then the most expensive part is going to be the Molten Powder. Uh, so let's see here, a stack for 30 mil, and then we need an additional 32 for 14 mil. And now we just plop it all in here, and there we go, Demon Slayer Gauntlet. It is like half the price it should be just because Blaze Slayer recipes, yes. Anyway, get in the museum. Anyways, that gave me uh, three rewards and claim all of these, and we only get 30 Skyblock XP, and I just spent like 200 mil on 30 Skyblock XP. You see what I mean about this just not being worth it? I can spend money, it's just going to get really ridiculous really quickly. So, yeah, I just looked at my cheapest Skyblock XP, and it's all either like Winter Island stuff, which I can't access for another two days, or it's like locked behind rep or something. It's, it's not a good situation. Although there are two things that are jumping out of me immediately when I look at it, and that would be upgrading the flower minion and bank upgrades. They're both not exactly cheap, but they're much more worth it than the museum right now. Also, just because I want to, I'm buying another Reaper Pepper. I don't even care anymore. So the next bank upgrade is Luxurious, and that costs 100 million coins and 100 enchanted gold blocks. So, yeah, slash BZ gold, and we need 100 of these. So, yeah, just 12 million coins, really not all that bad. It's just that 100 million coins is going to hit like a truck. I don't know. Here we go. It gave me 40 Skyblock XP, though, and I appear to have gotten rather unlucky because uh, the Dark Auction's happening today, meaning I have to wait an entire hour until I can go get another Flower Minion. 
since funny thing, I pulled a stupid and my uh, first flower minion I upgraded to like tier 8 or something and then spent it on the Romero quest. I really should have just done it at T12 right then, but funny. I also apparently have not unlocked critical essence 4, so I mean un undead essence and we're gonna need 20,000 and that's gonna be 11 million coins and there we go, 5 skyblock XP. And it appears that minion craft has gotten me a uh, level 356. Very nice. Alright, the dark auction is starting pretty soon, so I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and line up here. I, uh, have actually crafted a red tier 11, and we're gonna get that to T12 in a second, but I just need to be here, you know, to go meet Sirius and whatnot. I didn't even know there was a T12 Revenant minion, but apparently it is. Oh, it requires Zombie Slayer 9. Oh, you just talked to the bartender? That's really it? And, and it's like two coins too? Oh, okay. Okay, well actually the Dark Auction starts in three minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and get that T12. So bartender and yeah, T12 Revenant minion, so it's gonna be 64 Revenant Viscera, which that is five million coins, and I believe that should be the only thing, and then an additional two million coins, and this will also get me another minion slot, and there we go. Also, 31 minion slots, I believe that actually is the current maximum in the game, because there are more minions that I can craft, but I believe I would need like 50 something more unique crafts to get another minion slot, and I don't think there's that many minion crafts possible, so I think I have max minion slots now. All right, 20 seconds till the dark auction, Sirius should appear pretty soon. Oh, here's Sirius, here's Sirius, okay, click him, and, and, yeah. Okay, I'm signed up and I'll be warped. Cool. We're kicked while joining that server? <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, hold on, can I go back? Uh, oh, no, 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 this is not good. Okay, hope, like, no, uh, Q on cooldown. If I have to wait another hour, I'm gonna, I, 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 I don't know, punch a hole in my wall or something. Okay, so I'm back in the hub and I'm assuming I probably will not be able to get into the dark auction. Yeah, Sirius is gone. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> okay, back to farming, I guess. I'm going to drown my sorrows by eating this entire tub of ice cream and wearing these thigh highs. I'll be back in like an hour. Oh, Sirius is here. Again. And, and, okay, we're signed up and hopefully we actually get warped this time. If not, I'm gonna cry. Uh, anyway, flower minions, they typically go for like 30 mil-ish, and I believe they're guaranteed to be in every dark auction, uh, so I shouldn't have any issue getting this. I'm willing to do like 10 mil overpay too, because I just do not care about money. Uh, anyways, dark auction. I also probably should have nicked before doing this, but you know what, it's fine. Hopefully nobody obscenely rich comes in and like super outbids me because why not? I mean, I am by far the highest level in here. The next person is like 40 levels something below me, so I think we should be fine. Ooh, 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 flower minion, flower minion. Okay, this is what I'm here for, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna bid a lot of money on this. This is gonna be fun. And yeah, it's already up to 8 mil. Why are they bidding like that? Just, okay, and it's up to 32. You know what? You know, maybe we won't buy that. Someone immediately bid 54 mil. And that, that, okay. I can wait another hour. So apparently I'm missing a bunch of XP from the harp. I mean, I live in America. I've got pretty good ping. I wouldn't mind a little bit of torture. Anyway, I'm gonna torture myself. Give me a minute. Okay, so first attempt, 78%. Uh, bear in mind, my island is a little bit laggy because a lot of people visit me and it's currently raining on here. Yeah, no, I I haven't practiced this song in over a year, and I got 78% on it first try, so, uh, this may take a while, it may not. Alright, 85%, getting closer. Okay, well, new PB, 90%. Uh, apparently that's also supposed to give me some Skyblock XP, because you get some at 50, 70, 90, and 100, which I don't know if it did or not. Oh, okay, Sirius is here again, uh, taking a quick intermission from, you know, the whole harp thingy, and we're hopefully gonna actually get a flower minion this time. And we are here, into the basement. Alright, and here's what I'm here for, flower minion. I'd be willing to go up to, like, 40 mil-ish for it, and someone's saying dibs. Is this guy an Iron Man? If if not, I will bid war him. Okay, this guy's like level zero. And they're already putting it up to 32, and yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just start bidding on it. And someone bid 50 million coins. You know what? Screw you. 53 million. No, I want this flower minion. I'm bidding 55. Okay, some people are just insane. I'm sorry, what? Okay, like 55 mil. That is like 25 mil overpay. They go for 30 mil. Why are people bidding like this? I, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to find somebody willing to sell me a flower minion or something. I don't want to wait another hour. Right, so I found someone kind enough to actually loan me a flower minion that I'm just going to upgrade to tier 12 and then give back just so I can have the Skyblock XP. You are very kind. Thank you. So yeah, we're going to need a whole lot of enchanted dandelions, which these are actually fairly expensive. It's like 
two mil a stack. So, I mean, let's go ahead and buy like 128, two stacks, four mil. And we can upgrade that to the next tier, to the next tier, to the next tier. We need 96 more and three mil. All right, now it's up to a tier eight. Now, when I stopped upgrading it previously, it was at tier nine. And we're going to need to get this to a T12. So 256 for eight mil. Not horrible. And now it's back where I left it. So now we need 512. Which this one may hurt a little bit. 16 million, but I mean, it's whatever. Anyway, Skyblock XP. Now we need eight Enchanted Poppy, which... Um, I believe these are considerably cheaper for absolutely no reason. Yeah, 37,000 coins. And yeah, now the tier 12 is literally just 16 of those. And 74,000 coins. And yeah, now we have a, a maxed out flower minion. Why did I not try borrowing one sooner? That literally saves me like 40 mil just because clout go burr. All right, and now we... Yeah, literally just give someone a free tier 12 flower minion because uh, Scott like XP go burr. Anyways, back to the harp after this contest. I've been playing the harp for nearly an hour at this point. I set a PB of 92. I got 12 Skyblock XP from it. I'd rather bang my head into a wall at this point. See, my ping is really good, but my island is obscenely laggy for whatever reason. So... I, I'm just not going to do this. So I was looking through some stuff, and I found out that I don't actually have all the garden plots unlocked. Now, I'm definitely not going to unlock all of them, but I mean, three compost bundles, we can buy a couple of those. It's like 10 mil for five Skyblock HP, which at this point in the game, I think is uh, very, very worth it. So three of those, eh, it's 11 mil, but whatever. And we can unlock it this one, and then it looks like it's going to be the same price. Another three, another 11 mil, and there we go. And that should give us another level, yep, up to 357. And now it's charging four, so that's where we'll stop. Something we can also do is a little bit of, you know, completing the whole fairy relay quest line, which I'm missing the last two, I believe. I, I don't know, that's just free 10 Skyblock XP for a little bit of effort. Oh, cool, we finished it. Uh, well, that's one of them, I guess. And here's the last one, hopefully this doesn't take too long. And, uh, yeah, th there we go that took like no time at all and then i believe we just need to swap lobbies to get the xp to proc and there we go 10 xp so back in the garden i've got another three gold medals which means we can raise my farming cap once again and we are going to need 500 jacobs tickets which that's going to be uh, 13 mil i mean it's not horrible but there we go 10 Skyblock XP, just like that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really bored. I'm gonna start doing boss collections, because, like, getting my bonds to level up once will take, like, no time at all. Also, doing, like, a couple M4 runs, I would not mind. And also, dungeons is actually kind of fun, as compared to the farming I've been doing for the past three days for Skyblock XP. Alright, so this should be the very last M1 run that I need in order to get a little bit of Skyblock XP. And honestly, I've just been soloing it. There are, like, not enough parties, and I solo it in, like, two minutes, 20 seconds anyway. It's really not all that bad. And, yeah, Bonzo's already dead. And now we do the the funny gyro, if the gyro will work. The gyro appears not to want to work. I, I don't know. Bonzo, you can just die, I guess. And there we go. And now in boss collection, we should have a fancy little thing that we can claim. 25 Skyblock XP and a Bonzo staff. Anyways, it's time for M4. All right, and that is the last run of F4 that we need. So if we go over here, we should be able to go into collections. And yep, there we go. And we get a Spirit Stone as well as 15 Skyblock XP. That totally didn't take me like an hour, by the way. So something I entirely forgot about and something that I actually vetoed earlier in the video is, well, the Hearthstone minion. I got it to T11, but there is a T12 available. It only costs, you know, 60 mil. Uh, funny thing. I spend so much money that it's actually worth it for me to do this now. Funny how that works out. Anyways, we just need, yeah, 32 concentrated stones, 63 million coins, and Hearthstone minion tier 11. And that'll give us 24 XP, which is significantly more worth it than a lot of things I could buy. We also have Critical Essence 5 for 50,000 undead essence, which 26 million coins it's, I, I, I don't know, it's kind of worth it-ish. I'm, I'm just really down bad for Skyblock XP at this point. 28 million coins. Yeah, just, I just get over here and there it is, 7 XP. So I actually managed to find something fairly cheap in the museum that I haven't donated yet that is not showing up on any of you for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, it is the perfect chest plate and full armor and whatnot, tier 12. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy that. It's like, 30 mil for the entire set, so I mean, might as well. So 6.5 mil for the chest plate, and then 8.9 mil for the leggings, and 7 mil for the boots, and then it's gonna be 9.5 mil for the helmets. And this we can just go ahead and donate, and we get a bit, a little, little bit of skyblock. XP? No? Apparently we got a major museum reward. This reward is coming soon. I, I didn't want this. I wanted Skyblock XP. Well, I didn't 
really want to have to do this, but uh, it's going to happen sooner or later. I'm going to donate both of my tier 3 daggers for a little bit of Skyblock XP. Oh, uh, this is going to hurt. At the very least, they have dropped in price a ton, so it's not going to hurt as much as when they were both worth a billion coins each. Uh, but I mean, I guess we should go ahead and do it. Death Ripper go in the museum, and this can go in the museum as well. But I mean, hey, at least we get 20 Skyblock XP, and also level 358. So I've been doing a little bit of farming. And in all my farming, I am 99% uh, of the way to farming 56. So, hi, Stella, what do you need? Five golden carrots? Sure. 30 Skyblock XP. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay, y'all, I just looked at the <laughs> next visitor. <laughs> There's an overgrown grass in there. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. This is the third one I've dropped to. Actually, two of them have been from the Grandma Wolf. Like, I, I love this visitor so much. Giving me two overgrown grasses. It's amazing. Uh, anyway, we need some. We, we need some cookies. Yeah, just gonna buy four of those. Yeah, and, uh, you know, casual 67 million coin profit. Anyway, since it's currently Aatrox, I figured I might as well go do some Vamp Slayer. Uh, thing is, there's these things called McRubber Burgers, and they give you Skyblock XP if you eat them. And they're dropped from Vamp Slayer. Yeah, I'm gonna like, take that extra magic mine and whatnot, and we're gonna go do that. Okay, so I said I was gonna go do Vamp Slayer, but I randomly remembered that I have four gold medals that I've saved up, and this costs four gold medals, so, you know, we're just gonna buy some Jacob's tickets real fast. Yeah, just give me uh, 200 of those for 5 million coins and Skyblock XP. Oh my god, that took so long. I, oh goodness. Okay, that took like 7,000 XP and like 5 to 6 hours. That was not fun. I literally had to drag my microphone over and I, I've watched an entire four and a half hour documentary about an indie game called Cruelty Squad and, and, and I finally got it and you know what? We're just just gonna go ahead and consume it. The documentary is still playing in the background. Y'all can't hear it. McGrubber's Burger. That was only five Skyblock XP. My goodness, that that was not worth it. Okay, so I'm three XP off of the next level, and I I'm just gonna do a couple composter upgrades. So we need two enchanted cactus, two enchanted red mushroom block, and I guess four enchanted golden carrots. All right, and now we upgrade all of these, and we should get a Skyblock level. Or not, apparently. Did one of them not give me Skyblock XP? It appears one of them did not give me Skyblock XP for whatever reason. Now we get a level. Yeah, there we go. 359. The Jerry Island has finally opened up. And with that, it is time for me to finally go and get level 360. So a couple things that we need from here is, uh, well, first of all, we need some of the minions. And then we also need the ice shop. So minions will take a little bit of work. So I think we're going to do the ice shop first. So if we just come back to this little cave opening right here, break this ice, and we get to talk to Frozen Alex. And... Yeah, now we just need to max this thing out real fast. So, Ice Essence, we'll just buy, like, 10,000. How much is that going to be? 30 million coins? All right, and let's just start maxing things out. So, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. That is cooled forges, and we're going to need a little bit more. Now, let's just buy another 10k. And Frozen Skin 3, 4, and 5. And then Season of Joy. Okay, we're probably going to need, like, another 5-ish k. So, that's 14 million, and Season of Joy. Season of Joy again, and Season of Joy 6. Oh, I don't have enough. And Season of Joy 6. I think this actually goes all the way up to 10. 7, 8, 9, and then another 4k essence in order to get 10, 11 million coins, and that should be the ice essence shop entirely maxed out. And boys, look at that. Level 360. We did it. I didn't think I was going to get this off the ice essence shop, but I, I did. It gives a lot of XP, apparently. Oh my goodness. Look at that. 3 out of 100 level 360. Hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to go out of here so I can properly look at the tab. Look at that. My name is, my, my name and whatnot. Purple. Yeah, pur pur purple. If you can't tell, my favorite color is purple. And then hold, hold on. To, to boost my ego a little bit, we can go into Patcher and, and there's a funny little thing. Name tag. Show own name tag. So if I F5 here, yeah, look at that. I got 360 next to my name. It looks amazing. It's, it's purple. And with all that, I'm still not even top 1,000 in Skyblock levels. I'm 1,098. Therefore, my level's bad. It's awful. I need to get it higher. 400 win. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe for more stupid shenanigans and whatnot. Also, there should be like a video on top of my face right now. I think it's pretty good. You should go watch it. It's an amazing video. It will entertain you. Uh, anyway, goodbye or something. I'm great at ending videos.